Welcome to CGTC. Our job is to support you in your academic success. We are committed to doing everything we can to help you walk across that graduation stage. All we ask is that you meet us halfway. This short video will give you the tools you need to do just that. We're going to talk about why subscribe, how to log into stuff, classroom survival, and community and college resources. So why subscribe? We have a text alert service called Titans VIP. What current students like most about it is it's free to use. If you have unlimited text on your phone, like most of us do, it's no charge. Even if you don't have unlimited text, we don't send out text every day and rarely more than one a day, so you're still good. Current subscribers say that the text we send out remind them about stuff they would have otherwise forgotten about, stuff like when to redo your financial aid, or the last day to drop classes without penalty. Best of all, you can text back. Yes, anytime, day or night, you can text questions or concerns to Titans VIP and actually get a response back. We are literally a text message away. We also have a CGTC YouTube channel that you have to subscribe to. There are multiple videos about how to do stuff, such as how to check your student email, how to access Blackboard, and how to register for classes. If you subscribe, you will be the first to know when new videos are posted. So you gotta subscribe. You can also leave comments and like your favorite videos. So when it comes to Titans VIP and the CGTC YouTube channel, subscribe, subscribe, you have to subscribe. Logging in. Did you know that most students that fail do so because they haven't logged in to electronic resources regularly to complete assignments? To help you start the semester off right, we are giving you a how to log into stuff cheat sheet. You can find a print friendly version in the description box below. It tells you all the electronic resources we have, their purpose and how to log in. There's even space on the page you print out for you to write your username and password information so you have it handy when you need it. Don't think just because you are taking classes on campus that you don't need to use electronic resources. Did you know that the majority of classes on campus also require you to submit your work online? So print out the cheat sheet and use it. And guys, check your MyMail daily. That's one of the primary ways your instructor will communicate with you. Let's talk about classroom survival. SAP stands for Satisfactory Academic Progress. It means that to remain enrolled and to keep your financial aid, you must make sure that you maintain a 2.0 GPA. That means that the average for all the classes that you have taken must be a 2.0 or higher. You must also pass a majority of the classes you attempt. The magic number is 67%. So 67% of all the classes you enroll in, you must pass. When you drop classes and fail classes, it goes against your completion rate. Q&A time. If you take three classes this semester and get all A's and take two classes next semester and get all D's, will your GPA be high enough to keep financial aid? What about your completion rate? The answers are yes, your GPA will be fine at a 2.8, and no, your completion rate will only be at 60%, which does not meet the 67% SAP requirements. Did you know that if you don't meet SAP requirements, you could have to sit out or even pay money back? Don't waste your money. Communication. One way to increase your chances of being successful in your classes is to make sure there's open, honest, and ongoing communication between you and your instructor. And guess whose responsibility it is to maintain and grow that relationship? It's yours, the student. Whether you realize it or not, you communicate to your instructor with every action or inaction that you take. If you want to be taken seriously as a student, don't talk about it, be about it. How? Participate in class discussions. 
Sit in the front of the classroom. Come to class prepared. Visit your instructor during their office hours. Let your instructors know what's going on, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Instructors aren't mind readers. Ask for help when you need it. Communicate seriousness through readiness. Follow the equal to rule. And that is hours of class time equal independent study hours. Homework and class assignments are not included. So if you are taking English three hours a week, you should at a minimum be studying your English materials for three hours a week. Remember, doing homework is not studying. You'll find that not only will you be more prepared and confident in class, you will also be able to complete your homework and test more ease since you are more knowledgeable on the materials. Remember the work you put in will reflect your grades. Did you know the fastest way to improving your circumstances is with education? We're here to help, but you have to meet us halfway. 100% of instructors agree that communication or lack thereof is the main reason students fail. 100% of instructors agree that they are willing to meet with students one on one. In the past year, instructors took the time to seek academic and personal assistance for students in their classrooms over 1000 times. That means that we care and we want to help. Speaking of help, we have a lot of resources available for you to assist you in your success. We have an Academic Success Center, also known as ASC. They provide free tutoring and success skills workshops. We also have a library where you can check out books, hold study groups, use a computer, and print out your course materials. Check the description box below to view their flyers and find out their hours of operation. You can also check the description box to print our Frequently Asked Questions sheet and Who Do I See sheet we also have disability services available. Your personal success is also important to us. In the description box, check out our community support documents that give you contact information about other needs you may have to include transportation, counseling, and food. Many of these resources are free. So, the next time you have a problem, question, or concern, Take a minute and think about what's in your toolbox. I guarantee that if you use the tools you were just given, you can successfully tackle most any task. Thank you for watching. Like us below and don't forget to subscribe.